Hey guys, it's Dusk! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stop holding angles like a bronze player and to start holding angles like a high-level player like myself. Hey you! Only 10% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe! Before I go into the three types of angles you can hold, I want to talk about some core game knowledge that will 100% help you rank up. The first is playing off of contact. What I mean by that is positioning yourself in correspondence to where your teammate is playing in order to win a round. This is a very important concept because it can get you easy kills on defense and when you post plant situations that you typically would lose. In this setup on bind, I'm playing an agent that has utility that can get me out of a sticky situation. Because I'm Reyna, an agent with a dismiss, I can hold in this corner and have my teammate flash from U-Haul off my contact. The enemy will be running through short and I immediately headshot him and dismiss into safety. In that moment when I dismiss, or make contact with the enemies, my Sky or Omen can flash from U-Haul and peek, killing enemies fully blinded. This is why playing off of contact is so strong. You're setting something up with your teammate rather than holding a common angle and not being useful with your positioning. Another example of playing off of contact is in this 2v1 post-plant situation. Say the bomb is planted for heaven and CT, and we know that the enemy is flank. When they go and tap the bomb, one player can hold an angle from CT and see if the bomb is being diffused. This is the person with first contact. Off of your teammate's first contact, at the same time you will swing from heaven and shoot the enemy not looking at you, which secures the round. In a post plant situation, your goal is to have the bomb explode. You don't need to hold angles in the wide open like a noob. Just hold a passive angle that is safe and then peek when you have information. Playing off of contact is super important in winning rounds, and holding and positioning yourself in a way that will secure you those rounds will help you win more games in Valorant. And that transitions us to holding what I like to call noob angles. Have you ever found yourself losing a round because you were scared, crouched, and huddled up in a corner and the enemy killed you before you could even react? That's because Valorant has a thing called peeker's advantage. When holding an angle, you want to be as far away from the wall as possible. That's because the enemy that is further away will see the enemy that is closer to the wall first. You'll start winning more of your gunfights if you keep this in mind and stop sitting in noob corners. Now I'm going to talk about the three angles that you can hold in Valorant. Common angles, off angles, and one and dones. We all know what common angles are. They're angles that every one of you guys watching this video does. It's holding angles that are the most commonly peaked by attack. These are typically the first choke points on every map. A main, B main, mid. You need to stop holding these obvious, easy to clear angles. They're good only sometimes, but literally it gets you killed in the first 5 seconds of the round. So stop holding common angles. Now we go to off angles. These are the angles that are harder or near impossible to clear by attackers without the use of flashes or Sova drones. Really strong off angles to play are walking out and holding the walls of A main and B main. As an attacker, you'll be seen before you'll see the defender. This is because Valorant maps are set up in a way where defenders are further away from the wall where the first engagement happens. When playing in these off angles, you want to play an agent that has a get out of jail free card. So this means Jet, Reyna, or Chamber. Agents that have an instant dismiss to get you out of that sticky situation. All you need to do is get a kill and get out when the barrier drops. When you start getting a higher rank, it's important to keep in mind that a smart attacker will clear you out with utility. If you know the enemy has a Sova or Sky, ask your teammates to break the drones. Be prepared to dash out right away before giving the enemy team a pick. Anyways, if you get a kill and get out when the barrier drops, this will put you in an immediate 5 versus 4 situation, which encourages a defense round win. Off angles are also very useful when you know where an enemy is and they have to clear you. Putting yourself up on an elevated platform or a spot that will mess up the enemy's crosshair placement will win you the fight 9 out of 10 times. As you play more ranked, try to use off angles that you come up with or see your favorite streamers use. Once you become confident using off angles rather than holding safely behind cover or common angles, it will secure you round wins that you typically lose. There are literally thousands of off angles in every single map. Just think about it from the attacker's perspective. If they peek into you and they don't expect you to be in that angle, that's what an off angle is. Last but not least, I want to talk about one and duns. One and duns are basically angles positioning yourself where a bunch of enemies are going to funnel. Holding an angle like this will typically only get you one kill if the enemies clear you. If you're an agent with a dismiss, you can get one and get out. But if you're like a brimstone or a sova, you're basically dead. One and duns are typically not very useful, but there are moments where enemies won't clear their corners, which makes one and done so powerful. And we all know what ranks don't clear the corners. It's the ranks that you guys are in. Have you ever had a friend who didn't clear a corner and all of a sudden your whole team dies in 5 seconds? Yeah. That rookie player playing in that one and done? 
actually had a very pro hold. They had the trigger discipline in the game sense to not fire right away and let more unsuspecting victims walk by. This happens even in the highest ranks. Play one and dones at your own discretion, but I typically also don't recommend it. Or if you play in a one and done, try using a shotgun. Shotguns are really strong in one and dones. You can spam a bunch of enemies before dying. And yeah, that's it. There are more in-depth and case-by-case -case situations where holding a specific way will help you win. But if you have any questions, let me know by commenting down below and subscribe for other tutorials like this.